Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh and sizzling news all day long. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, what are you doing? What are you doing on YouTube but you're not subscribed to Newsroom Nigeria? Please go right to the subscribe button and click on it. Join this amazing community we have here. This is the only place you can get reliable and authentic news from. To so give this video a massive thumbs up as well, like this video so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world as well. Lastly, please leave your opinions in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. Breaking news, PDP gubernatorial candidate Dino Milai boycotts Kogi poll calls for protest. The candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the Kogi State Governorship poll, Senator Dino Milai has boycotted the ongoing exercise across the 21 local government areas. Our correspondents who monitor the exercise observe that Milai was not seen in his unit 004 Ward 002 Ilua Four Quarters. Ayetoro Bede, Ijomu Lohu government area, to cast his vote. Newsmen reliably learned that the PDP candidate, who was in his country home with some of the people, with some of his people, stayed away from the exercise. One of the PDP chieftain in the in the town who craved an anonymity because he was not authorized to speak, said Melaye did vote, did not vote, because he believed the election was already predetermined. He said, Oga deliberately stayed away from the exercise, so has not to give the election credibility. We are quite aware where the pendulum will swing, because the outcome is already predetermined. Voting commenced around 8.30 a.m. in his polling unit and ended by exactly 2 p.m. Meanwhile, in a video shared on his verified ex ando on Saturday, Dino Milai stated that election result sheets for the local government had already been filled out and stamped even before the commencement of voting. Melaya alleged that INEX staff had refusing to show agents result sheets. Melaya who noted that result sheets have been filled and tampered with already, called on his supporters to boycott the election in places where INEC officials refused to show a plain result sheet before the commencement of voting. The former lawmaker who represented Kogi West Senatorial District further called for protest in such polling units and the boycott of voting or accreditation. He said, and I quote, INEC staff are refusing to show result sheets and result sheets have been written. There is a massive protest in all polling units in Ogori, Magongo local government area of Kogi State right away. The result sheets have been filled and tampered with already and people are refusing to accredit, people are refusing to vote and they are insisting that plain result sheet must be shown to agents in accordance with electoral laws. He further added that if they refuse to show you result sheets in all polling units across the state, do not accredit, do not vote protest and resist it. This is democracy. We must protect our votes. We must protect the process. And we must make sure that all regulations are being observed and respected. I call on all my agents across the states that plain result sheets are not shown to you before the commencement of accreditation. Do not accredit. Do not vote. Resist it and protest. He called on his supporters and agents to record it, video it, show the faces of this compromise INEC staff and security agents, and post it on all platforms on social media. 
This election is a must win for us, he added. You all, let me have your thoughts in the comments section below. <laughs> Nigeria, I hear the Nawao. <laughs> Nawao, only in this country will you have a result sheet that have been, you know, pre filled. You know, all the vote counts have been filled, even, <laughs> even before the conclusion of the election. <laughs> Nigeria, I heal to you. Nothing cannot happen. What does not happen in Nigeria does not exist. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Let me remind you to subscribe if you haven't already done that. Like this video as well so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world. Before we go, let's take a look at some of the reactions we got online. All of bad day, but what it says, my opinion is this. If INEC has done well for eight years in Kogi State, they don't know they don't need INEC to rig. Samuel Ignatius says they said INEC staff are daring and perhaps have the backing of a power that be in Kogi. It must be made to face the law. Sunday Okune says what a jungle country. Until Nigerians rise up and fight these criminals, things will go from bad to worse. Election are your bits. Elections not dirty game. Oh, hmm. I, uh, I support you, my brother. I agree. Victor Anthony says, Okay, you be the expert to win. How? Kogi people are wiser. The election is between APC and SDP. Hmm. Daniel Zanike says, This is a man who was flaunting the number of pairs of shoes he has. Somebody somewhere can't even afford a meal. This man should please grow up. <laughs> and he wants to win. Which means when he becomes the governor of the state, you people should be ready for Pepe Dem. <laughs> Pepe Dem gang, Atarodo gang. And more release of singles. Probably he will become an artist when he becomes the governor of the state. So, <laughs> vote for him. Thank you, you all, for always listening and watching. If you haven't subscribed to this channel by now, what are you doing? Please go ahead and subscribe. Join this amazing community we have here. I'll see you all in my next video, guys. Bye for now.